whole birthday of the day. Wanted to show the GOAT some love, man. Jay-Z turning 50 today, man. But this video was not about Jay-Z. I just wanted to show Ho some love. Happy birthday, Ho. This is about the Clippers and the Lakers so far this season. I seen this debate going on on some sports networks earlier today. You know, and I just want to put my two cents in and say what I thought about it and say who I feel like the better team is right now. I'm going to tell you who I think is the better team and who's the more equipped team to win a championship this year by just looking at their rosters. Not even, just bearing injuries and nothing like that. Hopefully nobody gets hurt. But if just looking at their rosters, tell you what teams is equipped to win the championship this year. What team got it? Out of the Clippers and the Lakers. I'm going to break it down for you right now. It's the Clippers. The Clippers got the better team right now to me. I know the Clippers got a few more losses than the Lakers. Right? They got six losses. The Lakers got three or four, I think. But what you got to look at is LeBron and AD have played in most of the games. Kawhi and Paul George. They haven't even played in all those games together. They just getting the groove together. I think they just had their first practice together. Cause you know Paul George just coming off an injury last year. He had surgery. But the Clippers right there. They right there. I'm gonna tell you why the Clippers are the better team. Number one, obvious answer. They already beat the Lakers. They beat them on the first game of the season. A lot of people say, oh, that was just the first game, but hey. It is what it is. They beat him. And take this into account, too. Didn't have Paul George. So imagine what they're going to do when they play them on Christmas. I can't wait to see this game on Christmas. Imagine what they're going to do when they play them on Christmas. Now they got Paul George. And it took a while with Montrezl Harrell and Patrick Patterson and Sweet Lou Will coming off the bench. Look at this, too. Right? The Lakers have had an easier schedule, too. They've played a lot of sub-500 teams. They've been beating up on them. They have had, they have been for the for most of their wins, right? They got a win in Denver last night. I'm happy for that because I didn't think they was going to win in Denver last night. I was like, that's an ultimate test. They got the win in Denver last night. That's a good team. Denver's a good team. But that's only the fourth team that they beat that's got a winning record. Every other team they beat, Got a losing record. Let's look at it, right? They beat the Nuggets. They beat the Mavericks in the close window. Then they lost to them by 14 when they just played them recently. All right? They beat the Heat. All right? The Heat, kind of good. They got a winning record. They beat the Jazz. They got a winning record, but they're not a super threat to me. I don't I don't see them as a threat to these two teams. So, it's like, okay, cool, Right? The Clippers beat the, the Jazz too, right? They beat them. They beat Boston. The Clippers beat Boston. Now, to me, that holds a lot of weight to me because Boston is one of the best teams in the East. So they beat them. They beat the Mavericks too, but they blew them out. Luka didn't have like no career night on the Lakers. I mean, he did have a career night on the Lakers, I meant. He didn't have a career night on the Clippers. They frustrated that boy. They let you know something, too. They frustrated that boy. Beat them. All right? They beat the Raptors, too. That's one of the best teams in the East. They beat the Raptors. You know, got to take that into account, too. We, we talk about, when you talk about the best teams, they beat some of the best teams, and the Clippers beat the Rockets. So that's another good team in the West that they beat. Like, the Clippers have beat, they beat the best teams from the East and the West. So you can't take that away from them. They're better right now. And not just because they beat the best teams from the East and the West. Also look at this too, right? They're deeper than them. You look, I'm looking at the box score of the, the game last night. 
LeBron and AD both had 25, right? They both played 37 minutes. And then it was somebody had 11, Dwight had 13 points. All right, that's cool. They got the win on the road, right? But the Clippers are a better overall team because Paul George and Kawhi don't have to go off every night for them to win. They got a better constructed team. They're just the stars. The Clippers already were a good team. They're already a team on the come up. They just didn't have a star. Right, they made a little bit of noise in the playoffs last year against the Warriors. They won two games. They didn't go far because they didn't have a star. In the playoffs, stars matter. Stars shine. That show you how really good you are when you show up in the playoffs. They was able to beat. You know what I'm saying? So I look at that as well. You got on the Clippers. You got four guys that can give you 20 plus. You got four of them. Montrezl Harrell, he averaged 18 off the bench. He just had a game in New Orleans where he had what he had like 30 points, right? Um, Lou Will averaging 22 off the bench. Kawhi, he averages 25. Paul George, he averaged 22. So, man, it just it's picky poison with them. It's picky poison. Oh, also in the game last night, Patrick Patterson hit like five, six threes off the bench. You gotta take that into account as well. If LeBron and AD are off, it's good night for the Lakers. That's why I say the Clippers are better. It's good night for them if they don't have a great night. That's why they have to play so many minutes. That's why, that's why they have to play almost 40 minutes a night to win games. Because their team is not constructed as well as the Clippers team is constructed. It's not. They got to be 40 minutes. And it seems like to me, like LeBron, is, is, it seems like he's trying to win MVP or something like that. Like he wants to win MVP. He's out there. He got more four quarter points. He's out there piling them stats up. You know, and that's I just look at that like by the time the playoffs come, man, hopefully he don't be burnt out. But it shouldn't be because he didn't make the playoffs last year, so he shouldn't be burnt out. He should be ready. He should be doing this, you know. Um, but at the same time, man, the Clippers are better, man. They're better. When it comes down to it, they got those guys that can hit those big shots, man, for you. The Lakers, they can defend at the rim, though. They defend at the rim. I think they defend at the rim better than the Clippers because they got Dwight, AD, and JaVale. But they can defend at the rim too. I just think that the Lakers defend the rim a little bit better. But the weakness in the Lakers game that the Clippers don't have, that they don't have that weakness in their game. The Lakers don't got a good perimeter defense. They don't got no perimeter defenders. So when you got guys on the perimeter that are a threat, you see, and I'm not just saying it just to say it. When you see the Lakers play a team that that have guys on the wing, the perimeter, and everything like that that can score, those guys have a great night. Luca, Luca had a great night against the Lakers twice. When they lost to the Lakers in overtime, and when they just beat the Lakers by 14, Luca had career nights in both games. You know why? Because the perimeter defense isn't good. When the Clippers played the Mavericks, they frustrated Luka. They frustrated that boy. That boy can't do anything. You know why? Because they have people that can switch on you. They got different threats. They got different people that can just throw at you. Kawhi, Leonard, Paul George, Harkless. Patrick Beverly, all those guys can defend the perimeter. And then you got Montrez Harrell, you got Zubat, and you got Jamarco Green that can defend two at the rim. And then it's not as much pressure on Kawhi and Paul George. They don't have to score 30 every night because they have a better constructed team. Lou Wood can come in there and score 20, 20 for you and help you get a win. The Lakers don't got that. They don't got no player that can do that. Or Harold can do it. 
He just did it. He's had a career night off the bench against New Orleans. I know it's New Orleans, but still, I'm just saying that just shows you the weapons in the Clippers arsenal that they have that they can just bring out on you. And that's going to be scary come the playoff time. Hopefully nobody gets hurt. I'm going to say it again. Hopefully I don't want nobody to get hurt, knock on wood. But that's going to be scary. Because you already got the stars, and then you got the other guys that you know you can count on as well. And that's going to play their role, and that's going to play hard. Man. They were already constructed well. They already got a great coach, Doc Rivers, who, who coached the championship team in 08. I think he had a potential to do it again with this team. So, man. I know the Lakers play the Clippers on Christmas. I, will, I can't wait to see what the Lakers are. You know, what kind of gameplay they're going to have for them this time. Because this time they're going to have Paul George. Paul George went off last night. He had them games. And I think this is a great situation for him because... I don't think he's a I don't think Paul George is a is a number one guy. I don't think he's a number one guy. I think he's more of a number two guy. He's more of a Scottie Pippen to me. He's just a better scorer. Scottie Pippen probably defended better, but he was he's just a better scorer. He's more of a Scottie Pippen type player to me. Kawhi is a Jordan type player. He's a number one option. He's done it twice. Find the ZVP for the Spurs and the Raptors. Let's not forget. It just, he just did it. And if he's able to do it for this team too, man, if he's able to get finals MVP for three different teams, something nobody has ever done in the history of basketball or the NBA, you got to give that man a pat on the back. Really, you got to y'all got to put some more respect on this man's name if he's able to do that for three different teams. He got the potential to do it for the next couple of years, next three four years, and I think he might do it this year if nobody gets hurt. Let me know what y'all think about it, though. Am I bugging? Do y'all agree or do y'all disagree with that? I just gave y'all the facts, man. They deeper. They got a better coach. They move the ball more, you know, and you don't, and you don't, and they don't have to rely on the stars. So that to me, that's that's good enough to me. And they got, and the chemistry is not going to be an issue. Because this team didn't just get put together. It just added a couple players to a team that was already on the rise. Not like what the Lakers just did. It just put everything together. It's a completely different Lakers team than it was last year. That plays a factor because we don't always see teams just win it the first year like that. Sometimes it takes the team a couple years or a year. So let me know what y'all think, man, in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe on your boy. Share your boy's stuff, man. Get your boy some more views up. You know, get your boy views up. Help your boy out. It's your boy Veli. I'm out. What it do, baby? <laughs>